All right, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, traditional screw plate method. Uh, as I said before, uh, as you notice with the six position cavity, I just laid it on here and let it warm up that way. It's very important to get your molds very hot. Uh, not necessarily very hot, but you need to get them warmed up and ready to go, especially when you get something such as this uh, slug mold that has a hollow base on it, which has a uh, is basically the same principle as a hollow point. Uh, and I'll show you that here in uh, the next segment with, with the hollow point casting. But you want to make sure you get everything hot, otherwise you're going to have stuff stick on it, and it's going to cause all sorts of nasty problems. Uh, and you have to beat it with a stick to get it out. So one method, like I said, is to put it on top of here and let it warm up that way. That takes a little bit longer, uh, and but I prefer doing it that way. If I have a small mold like this that has its own handles and everything, I can go ahead and stick the, the edge of it into the lead. And let it just sit there for a while and get it warmed up. And what this does is that superheats it pretty quick. I don't want to get it too awful hot. Uh, now, I am casting a 12 gauge slug, so my, my attention to uh, detail and, and making a perfectly cast slug is not as uh, tight as it would be if I was doing a handgun or something for a precision instrument. Let's just face it, a 12 gauge slug is, is kind of like a uh, uh, the freight train of the farms world. It, it kind of goes where it wants to go and nothing's going to stop it. So, and it's not really... It, they can be very accurate, and I've loaded them to be very accurate and made very accurate slugs, but just a rule of thumb, they're, they're just a big hunk of lead that flies down range. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take it, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my cavity. Okay. Notice on this one, I don't have to do such a big, uh, leave a big amount of lead on the outside, just a puddle on top, and that people are like, that's a lot of lead there. That's not really a whole lot. I'll put it in my bucket, and like I said, I'll reuse everything uh, in the bucket, so... Uh, it takes a little bit of time for it to go over. I'll bring it over here. As you can see, I dropped a little bit out. That's fine. <clears throat> My mold is very hot. That's the bad thing about these aluminum molds is they get tend to be a little bit hot every once in a while. See, it's still liquid on top. You'll notice it'll start to freeze up here in a second and turn a nice frosty color. Well, not really a frosty color, but it'll just get frosted over. Maybe if it just decides to do it. That's the bad thing about the uh, the aluminum molds, as I said, is they tend to heat up very quickly, and once they heat up, they take forever to uh, solidify. You notice I didn't have that one in the in the pot very long, and it's already superheated quite a bit. But all in all, they're very good, uh, very good molds. As soon as I get this one to get down, it's still pretty liquid. Uh, like I said, I've never had one where I've, I've uh, thrown a bullet out where it uh, is very wet and, and liquid still, and I don't intend to. As you notice now, it's solidified, it's not moving, and it's starting to turn a more frosty color. What we can do now is take the uh, our board, our stick that we have sitting around, you know, walk tall and carry a big stick, and uh, basically we're going to hit the sprue plate. We're going to make sure we hit the sprue plate and only the sprue plate. We've got this little notch here we got to do and knock that sprue off and then we can uh, take the bullet out. Uh, I know RCBS and a couple other manufacturers actually manufacture a uh, mold mallet as they call it. It's just basically a big hunk of wood that has a handle on it. I, why do that when you can go in your yard and pick up a nice piece of L and do the same thing? So we're going to hold over our bucket here, our cardboard box. We're going to knock the sprue plate out. We're going to take it. Usually I drop these in the water because I like to have them cast up pretty good. I've got my slug out this way. I'm going to hit the knuckle of the mold. I don't ever want to hit any part of the metal of the mold because that can make it go out of whack. It basically, it is a precision instru instrument. So I want to hit the, the knuckle or the, or the nut of the mold there and knock the slug out. And I'll just basically beat this over to the side. My ladle filled up with lead. Filled up again. Nice amount of lead. Once you do this for a while, you can kind of judge and see. I don't have a whole lot of puddle up there. It's it's definitely enough to get the job done. It's, it's kind of like a candy dot, but you wouldn't eat this. Uh, <laughs> so it's already set up and ready to go. Knock the screw plate off. 
the slug drop right out. It's nice and hot now, so the slug is going to come right out. Look at the first one we cast out. Like I said, cold gauge slug is just basically a huge hunk of lead. And a uh, honking piece of lead, not a huge hunk of lead. And they, they've got the hollow, uh, they call this a drive key. What this does is supposedly makes it so if it engages in a rifled barrel, if you have a rifle barrel shotgun, it makes it more accurate. I don't have a rifle barrel shotgun. I shoot these out of smooth bores, and they're good out to 100, 150 yards. Uh, hit a hit a milk bucket out to that, or a milk jug out to that far. So that's basically the traditional way. I'll load up one more time so you see it in real time. Take our mold, fill it with lead, form a nice little screw puddle on top. Grab my beaten stick here. Wait for it to solidify. Bring it close to the camera. It starts to get to a nice frost over it. I don't know if you can tell if it's got a nice frost over there. Probably wasn't even in line with the camera on that, but that's okay, you get the point. Knock the screw plate out. There's my 12 gauge slug. And that is basically how you do a traditional mold with a screw plate. Now the uh, hollow point mold that we'll be doing next for the 45 will be that way, but there's a couple other different things you got to do with it. So stay tuned and we'll get it next.